All right, we're at our uh, next pickup. It's a dead end street here off of the, uh, the highway. And this is definitely a tight spot when you back into it. There is room, no doubt about that, but it is tight and you're hindered by these wonderful looking gorgeous uh, bushes. So when you're backing up, you can't uh, see in here. So that makes it uh, more difficult than uh, that is truly necessary. So you can see my watermarks here of trying to get in to, to here, but down the street there, back there there's another set of docks which you can kind of see right through there. There's a spot to turn around. Thankfully, you don't have to blindside in here which would be more of a nightmare, so. <laughs> Alright, we'll get this loaded. We'll get down to, uh, what was that, Soul Cum, uh, Alabama, I think it was. Uh, and we'll, uh, deliver this into an old grocery store, is what the contact said. Not just calling for, uh, directions. So an old IGA grocery store told us we could, uh, park overnight there, so that is what we shall, uh, do. So we will, uh, hopefully short amount of time and we'll get down there and, uh, get parts and, uh, get this delivered in the morning and we have our next load which I believe picks up in the New Orleans area and goes to Atlanta. Maybe there's one more in there. Oh, I can't remember. But uh, uh, we do have a, I know the load already lined up. I'll just have to double check my, my email. So, <laughs> all right. I'll wait for this to get loaded and we'll get on down the road, guys. We should be almost loaded. So, unfortunately, I don't get to uh, video the loading of this one for you guys. This is uh, more of a general freight, so nothing specialized. And in those cases, I like to keep the drivers off the uh, off the dock, reduce their uh, liability clauses. So. Uh, I don't like when you're doing the stainless steel and some of the other high-end things. Uh, we get to be on the dock because they are high-value items. And, uh, unfortunately, um, it's kind of one of the demands we get to make. Because nobody wants to um, actually take responsibility. So, um, lots of photos for them and on our end. Uh, you will see why it could be your ass. So, um, yeah, but with general freight, it's um, relatively speaking, for uh, compared to what we do, um, it's considered cheap, I guess you could say, <laughs> on the uh, the claim side. So as long as everything shows up and no wrapping is broken or anything, there's usually uh, no way that they uh, can make a complain a claim against you compared to the higher end things are. You know, a scratch that was already there, they can make a fairly large claim, even though they probably may have put it there and don't even know they did it themselves. So it's just one of those things. Oh my God, it's not shiny now. <laughs> All right, he's got uh, four more. Oh, here we go. We got uh, one more pocket. Put that in there. All right, I got room for about two more pallets, and they'll have us loaded. So whoever this person is, that uh, this um, is dedicated to, they really did a bad job of uh, upkeep for that dedication. I guess uh, if I remember, I'll have to do a, a Google search to see who, who that is. Space for one more. And uh, after we uh, get that, after we get that um, 
last pellet on there. We'll climb up there and see if we need straps or not. But it didn't look like from what I could see, which is not the entire trailer, uh, there wasn't anything stacked too high. So I'm not expecting that we'll actually need them. But we might toss a couple on there for uh, good looks and happy feelings. Okay, I was signing my paperwork, and now you'll notice there's three empty spots. Uh, they were trying to give me products. It is for the same company, uh, but it was going to a different address. So uh, they just took it off. So we should be to go. Don't sign your paperwork mindlessly. Check it. Make sure you're going to the place that you're, you're going, or check with your dispatch. So they have uh, opened up three spots on the trailer, so they do have more product going to this address. Uh, the one I'm supposed to be going to in Alabama. So they're going to go ahead and uh, fill those three spots. No need to waste the space on the truck. We'll probably be hmm, 12 to 15,000 pounds with all this. So um, plenty of uh, capacity. So uh, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, wait for them to put these uh, three new pieces on. Uh, going to the proper spot. Um, that being said, what they just took off will probably be picked up by a another truck tomorrow to go exactly where, where I'm going so uh, but you still want to double check those uh, addresses make sure you're, you're getting stuff put on your truck going to the proper spot uh, one more pallet and I'll have this uh, reloaded uh, thankfully the stuff that they had to take off was um, almost on the end they only had to remove a few pallets out of the way to get to what they had to take off so nice uh, nice easy fix for a change all right, we put some straps on this one because it's leaning and it is leaning into the wall. They loaded that one uh, properly for leaning, but uh, looks like we're good to go. All right, let's get down to South Alabama. All right, we're getting unloaded. Our guy showed up and it's an empty grocery store, <laughs> IGA, and they're uh, using it for storage. So I guess they'll eventually fix the store up. And uh, right, they do have a grocery store on the other side of town, so I guess uh, the reason why we saw that Walmart stickers, they actually did buy this. And they were going to um, turn it into one of those um, hometown grocery stores, but uh, they uh, decided against it. So um, somebody else that owns a good group of stores and grocery stores bought it up so nobody else could have it. <laughs> All right, we're done with our delivery. Uh, we're gonna go down to uh, Biloxi uh, and park there. We're gonna go to the PIA uh, Casino and Resort and wait for our pickup Friday. It's Wednesday, so we're gonna go ahead and head there and uh, relax and uh, prepare for our next pickup. All right, we're in Biloxi. There's the PI uh, Casino and Resort. Uh, ooh, and it's windy. Some storm clouds uh, passing through. So I'm gonna go uh, check in. Uh, I guess there's a uh, bell area, bell hop. I guess when I uh, talk to him, you gotta go get your uh, permit. To, to park in there and grab a lot here, saying that you're a guest here, so uh, hopefully it doesn't rain too much, uh, or too hard before I get I get back. So let's go check in and get uh, a nice uh, get back so we can put the turbine back in the truck and uh, get into our room. Alright, let's go check this out. My first time here, so we'll see what it's all about. Got a nice little vibe to it. Ooh, that one's got a bit of a feel to it. So they gave me a uh, oops, parking pass here to put my truck. 
which they uh, told me about uh, when I was calling them on the phone for uh, reservations. So no big deal, but I gotta go run this out to the truck, and I do have a uh, appointment for a um, haircut at their uh, salon and spa, and do a uh, a back massage, just an upper back massage for like 20 minutes or that, whatever that was. So, uh, go toss this in the truck, and I'll go back and get my uh, my haircut. They were able to do it, and they had uh, just enough <laughs> space left for uh, uh, get me in. So, hurry on out here and hurry on back so I can get in for my my appointment. Thankfully, it's not raining uh, too hard right now. But uh, just enough to let you know that it is. <laughs> well, I'll have to come back and fix it. I see the date uh, properly on it, but at least it's, it's in there. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I had issues uh, with the camera. I didn't realize uh, <laughs> the one-to-one -one ratio was on. But my apologies for that. So when you go in through the doors here, to the right is the bell service. That's where you get your uh, temporary parking permit. And then the check-in to the hotel is that. And then if you go to the left, when you go through the door, you do have... Um, Kind of like a little convenient place to get food, and that's where the salon is. The salon spa is. <laughs> All right. Well, I just got my hair cut, and a shave, and a massage. So I'm actually going to go up to my room for the first time since I've actually checked in and see what it looks like. Those must be more like your uh, penthouses. <laughs> well, here's the room. Nice looking. Nice little closet. Some nice deep drawers. Oh, here's our ice and woo, the continental water. Let's see what type of view do we got. We're on the uh, 19th floor. Not a bad view. Alright. Well, I'll settle in. And uh, I'll go see what they got to eat around here. I know they got a few restaurants in here, so... I guess I'll see what I can find. Alright, we got our plastic bag. And our ice holder. Let's go get some ice. Even gotta push it to get out. All right, we got our ice. Right. Now we uh, can uh, get ready to 
go downstairs, find something to eat. You don't have to do this later. <laughs>